Hi everyone, The Orange Critic here. Today I review one of the first of the Steven Spielberg movies to come out this month, The Adventures of Tintin. This movie is based on the comic book series of the same name about a young reporter named Tintin and his dog, Snowy, as they go off to discover the secret of the unicorn. You know, I actually had kind of a mystery the other day. You see, it all started off when I found a little piece of orange cloth on my bed. It looked very suspicious because usually I keep a catalog of the orange lints I leave around in the house. Don't ask me why. You don't know me. So anyway, I followed the trail of lint to my bathroom door and inside, to my unsuspecting horror, I found... Kenny. Well, it was the Kenny doll anyway. Uh, he really needed a new orange sweater because his parka had really started to look its age. And he was really desperate. He was coming at me at a very angry and fast pace. So, quickly, without thinking, I bludged him to death with the Charlie Brown Christmas tree I just happened to have nearby. And only a few seconds afterward, I could faintly make out someone yelling, Oh my god, they killed Kenny. And someone else yelling, You bastard. But anyway, back to the movie. Um, the Adventures of Tintin. This was such an amazing movie. One of the, be the best motion capture I've seen in any, any other film I've seen. This was wonderful. And it's a Steven Spielberg film, and he really has made his return with this film. I mean, this movie had such an engaging story, and it was so great to follow, and all the characters in there were great and resembled the original cartoon caricatures you saw in the comic books. Jamie Bell plays the character of Tintin. I thought he was great, and his dog, Snowy, the animators really did a great job at animating Snowy. They really had a lot of fun doing that. Andy Serkis plays Captain Haddock, his previous film roles included Gollum from the Lord of the Rings movies. And he actually had questions to Peter Jackson if he was to play the dog, Snowy. And Daniel Craig plays the villain, even Saccharin. And he did a great job too. All, all three of those actors I've mentioned, they all did such a... had such an amazing performance for a motion capture film. They really took to their imaginations pretty well. Because, I mean, if you watch the behind the scenes, features online, it's really amazing at what great actors they can be for when they do a motion capture film like this. Now the movie did kind of start off at a fast pace, I mean it just jumps right into the story pretty quickly. I mean, seeing as how this is an adaption from a comic book series, I it would be nice to see, you know, kind of an introduction to the main character, maybe a backstory. I don't know if he had one in the comic book series. Uh, but there was this nice little um, animated opening sequence to the film that was pretty enjoyable, which I guess gives you kind of a summary of um, what Tintin does. Um, but the story was still pretty easy to follow, which was, had to do, of course, with um, finding out the secret about uh, this ship, this model ship that Tintin had just gotten and already hell broke loose. So comes the question, has Steven Spielberg returned? I'd say he has. So really, I wouldn't think of this as a kids movie. Even if it is aimed more toward the kids, it's, it's a film for everyone. You're talking about Steven Spielberg. I highly suggest you go see this film. Uh, the film's been out for two months now. It opened um, like in Paris and London and of course all the Europe cities to major success. Everyone loves it. It's a great Indiana Jones type of adventure movie which is just the kind of thing we really needed. So go out and see The Adventures of Tintin. And until then, I hope to see you next time, and watch out for any Kenny dolls that may pass you by.